Welcome to the Internet Empowerment Mini-Series, hosted by author Daltina Hay and sponsored by Accolades Public Relations and Plum Web Solutions. I'm Daltina Hay, and these tutorials are based on my book, The Social Media Survival Guide. You can attend full webinars on these and other topics at socialmediapower.com and learn more about my book and my availability for speaking engagements at daltina.com. Neither Daltina Hay nor her sponsors are affiliated with any of the services or tools highlighted in the series. In this session, we discuss the anatomy of a WordPress blog post. Now to start a new post in WordPress, you'll go to the side menu here under Posts and click on Add New. Once you do that, you're going to see a screen like this. Now in this session, I'm going to cover the general areas that make up a WordPress blog post. Later sessions, we'll discuss optimization, formatting issues, those sorts of things. First, this is where the title of your post goes. And down in here is where the body of your post will go. Now, once you've created the title of your post, WordPress will automatically create what's called a permalink for this post. A permalink is a permanent link to this particular blog post. Now, WordPress will create one based on the title of your post. So, if the post title is rather long, you might consider editing it and changing it. And you can do that just by clicking this, changing it, and clicking OK. Now, if we scroll a little further down, we'll see an area here where we can enter an excerpt for the post. Now, what an excerpt is, is a short summary of what the post is about. If you do not include an excerpt, the blog directories and search engines will grab the first, say, 55 to 100 characters of the actual blog post as the summary of the post. So, if the first couple sentences of your post are not particularly descriptive, of the entire post, you should consider using an excerpt. Next, we have a trackbacks module. A trackback is a way to notify another blog that you have actually linked to them or referred to them within the body of your post. A WordPress will automatically do this for other WordPress blogs, but it won't do it for other blog platforms like blogger.com. So if you link to one of those other platforms, you want to make certain that you include that URL that you're linking to in this area here. Now the custom fields module is something that is typically only used by plugins. The discussions module is where we can allow or disallow comments on a particular post and also allow or disallow trackbacks and pingbacks. Now, typically, this isn't a problem, but if you, if you have a blog that's very popular or a particular post that, that tends to be really popular, you might get a lot of trackbacks and pingbacks on them. Now, those come in as comments on your site, and so they can get cumbersome, in which case you might consider turning them off. Now, let's go back up here to the top so we can look at the options in this right sidebar. Our publishing options are First, that we can save a draft. We can start a post and come back to it later. We can preview our post to get an idea of what it's going to look like once it's published. And if we click Edit here, we can see that we can save this either as a draft or we can save it as pending review. We might want to send it to somebody else to get their review on whether or not it's going to be posted or not. And then as far as visibility, we can make the post public, we can make it password protected, or we can make it private so that only members of this blog can see it. We can also stick the post to the front page. What this means is if we click here, then this post will remain on the front page no matter how many other blog posts we post in the meantime. Now we can publish our post right away, or we can post date it to publish later. This is a nice feature because well, sometimes you might have several blog posts that you, that you want to get in at the same time, but you certainly don't want to post them all on the same day. So you can enter all of them and then just post date them. And you would do that by clicking Edit, entering the date and the time that you want it to be published, and click OK. So this button here will actually publish the post I mean, immediately, if that's what we choose, or on our chosen date, if we post dated it. OK, the next two modules are about categories and tags. 
Now I'm going to go into using categories and tags in an optimized way in a later session. But for right now, I do want to give you an idea of, of what the difference is. Categories are a way for you to sort of broadly organize the posts within your blog. And but however, tags you want to think about more in terms of key terms or keywords that you will enter in here that will help people find your blog in search engines and RSS feed and blog directories. So when you you can add your blog to any categories that already exist or you can add categories on the fly by just clicking here and entering the category name and clicking add new category. Same thing for tags. You can enter your tags here or you can also choose from the most used tags on your blog. And you want to separate your tags using commas. And then finally over here the featured image. The featured image is a will be a small thumbnail image that the directories and um, search engines and WordPress.com will actually show next to your your post title and your excerpt. And this is one of the things that can give maybe your blog a little little bit of an edge if you include feature images with it. Okay, now I'm going to scroll up here a little ways to the top and go back to one that I actually skipped over intentionally. And that was this module right here called Keyword Density Checker. This is not a module that you're going to find when you first install WordPress. This is a module that was added by a plugin that I installed. And I wanted to mention this here because you, often you're going to find plugins will and will add modules onto your posting page like search engine optimization plugins so that you can enhance your key terms or your meta titles and descriptions. And so that's actually what this module is right here as opposed to being something that comes typically in a WordPress install. Now this is really all I wanted to talk about in this session. I wanted to give you a really general overview of all of all of the main modules and main parts of a WordPress blog post. And like I said, in later sessions we're going to go into more detail into a lot of these different areas. So I thank you for listening and I also encourage you to visit our sponsors. You can visit Accolades Public Relations at accoladespr.com, Plum Web Solutions, that's Plum with a B, WebSolutions.com. You can also attend webinars at socialmediapower.com. You can also find out more about me at deltina.com. Thank you again for listening.